So, did you see the new COD trailer? Well, 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 we got Kevin Spacey, we got exoskeletons, we got Advanced Warfare? I, I can dig it. It's like, you know, in between, uh, what is it, Ghosts and Black Ops 2, I suppose. But anyways, let's think about this for a sec. I was surprised, for once. Um, Ghosts never really grabbed me. I just got it, you know, just to play it, see it, test it, you know, have a have an actual opinion on it rather than just, you know, the armchair generals. But I wouldn't pick up Advanced Warfare simply because, well, it looks genuinely interesting. Graphics look great. I think we can say without a doubt it's the best looking Call of Duty we've ever seen, and hopefully we it will get better. Um, you know, I won't say they're, you know, crisis graphics or, you know, the Witcher graphics, but they are really damned impressive. And don't forget, this is all based on that Quake 3 engine from back in 2003 when Call of Duty first came out. I think 2003. But anyways, let me just say that Sledgehammer Games has done everything it is that everything under the sun to remind you that you're not playing a 2003 you're not playing on a 2003 engine you're playing on a modern engine and that next gen is the lead platform I mean yes I'm a graphics whore I play on the PC so sue me um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to turning up the bells and whistles and seeing how it looks. I mean, you know, you still have your very cod looky type stuff, but there were a few moments, and I, and I stress the word moments, where I thought I could have been watching something out of Kill Zone. But, you know, Call of Duty, ever since Modern Warfare 1, inconsistent at best. In terms of art direction, graphics, all that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah, one rock that that's, you know, really, really well done, you know, high textures, all that kind of stuff. And then, you know, you got the ground. It's really low resolution, just like, ay, 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 headache. This looks to buck the trend. I'm excited to see how that goes. As far as story, we got PMCs, we got Kevin Spacey, we got exoskeletons. And it looks like we have something that is, you know, a little less, you know, pro-American, a little, you know, like, hurrah, hurrah, you know, America's the best, blah, 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 blah. You know, with with the idea of PMCs jumping into the picture and Kevin Spacey's little rant of uh, democracy being a joke um, and how the U.S. has been pushing democracy on the world for the past century, uh... You know, it's it's something to some to think about. You know, we've always played the tough American uh, in past Call of Duty's and Battlefield, um, and you know this this is definitely a bit of a departure. Uh, now we've only seen single player, uh, no multiplayer yet. Um, however, I gotta say that I'm I'm excited. My hopes are that Sledgehammer has learned. Uh, from from the past Call of Duty campaigns, and that you know they will take what fans loved about the campaigns. Um, I, for one, love the loadouts. You know, being able to pick and choose and, and kind of customize the mission to your liking. Uh, you know, I remember in Battlefield that was such such a joke. I mean, yeah. You, Okay, so in Battlefield 3, after you hit, like, a couple checkpoints, you know, if you picked up any other weapons, you'd have your original starting loadout, like, the hell. And same thing with, uh, Battlefield 4, yeah, you had those crates lying around, but just didn't feel you. Like, I, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't customize it, you know, like, I would want... You know, an M416, a suppressor, an ACOG, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, I, but then I get these preset loadouts. You know, I like being able to pick it out for myself, you know, on some of the Black Ops 2 missions, you know, just going completely stealthy, you know, silence pistol, silence rifle, blah, blah, blah. 
And sometimes I'll go out all whiz bang and have shotguns and you know LMGs and rocket launchers and all that kind of stuff. But well, that's just one part of it. Um, it looks like there are a few less gimmicks. It, it does look like we're gonna have a few you know quick time events like we had the uh, ice climb in Modern Warfare 2. Um, but uh, you know it's 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 shaping up seems. Uh, it doesn't look like your typical Call of Duty. I know we're all sick of the same thing over and over and over again, but I think I think they're slowly but surely starting to buck the trend. I mean, Black Ops 2 probably had the best, since Modern Warfare 1, the best campaign um, because of the aforementioned uh, parts. The the loadout, oh, and the side objectives, um, the idea that with these side objectives you could affect the outcome, affect who's in what, um, and who does what to who. I like that. I mean, it's it's not going into, like, RPG territory where you have 30 different endings, but, you know, it, it, it does have enough of an impact to be like, oh, hey, I might want to play through this again, do things a little differently, and see what happens. Um... For the past two gods, I have just picked up, picked them up. Um, Ghosts and Modern Warfare 3. I, I like Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1. Those were fantastic. But for Modern Warfare 3 and for Ghosts, I just picked them up because I just wanted to see how they played. Campaigns were decent. Um, multiplayer in Modern Warfare 3 is probably the last good one of that series. And then Ghosts, well... It was ghosts. Um, but it looks like Sledgehammer Games is definitely taking this three-year development cycle seriously. Um, I'm very excited just on this trailer alone, and that surprises me. So, give me your thoughts. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about the new trailer. You have a link to the uh, trailer in the description. Let me know what you think. If you have anything... Uh, that you noticed about it, or if you have any concerns about it, you know, maybe we can have a nice little friendly chat. Uh, I'll, I'll bring the hot cocoa. Alright, well, um, I hope you all have a good day. It is 3 in the morning here. Why am I up? I don't know yet. But, um, hope you enjoy, and uh, let's keep an eye out for this uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Peter Meister, signing out.